Welcome to the Bat Cave, everyone! It is time to delve deeper into Legend of Grimrock 2. So we're gonna take off our gloves and our band braces because they are for crime fighting and they are not for dungeon crawling. As that's what we're doing right now. We're doing some dungeon crawling. Um, next up, we do have the second boss. In last session, we encountered that boss. I believe it was at level 5. Now we're level 6. Yes, we're level 6. We should be able to take out that boss now. Uh, it was a very hard struggle to survive for just a couple of minutes in the corner there before we went game over last time. So I'm thinking this time with an additional level under our belts and a little bit of preparedness we should be able to take out that boss. So uh, we're going to be heading straight over there if I can remember where it is. Which I can't. Is this ice spikes? That's ice spikes. Fireball, were you like this? You were like this. Is anyone close to a level? No. Everyone is as far as you could possibly get from a level. So I'm not expecting to gain any levels on my way over there. Uh, so where is that fungus place? It's up there. Fung oh, right. If we zoom out, it'll tell me. Okay, I think that we could make it farther into... Uh, forgot where we're Cure Reach Bog. I think it's the bog. That makes sense. What does that mean? Hub. Hub. Yeah, that's the hub. Right, I saw media. Generation 2, 4, and shit. Okay. I believe it's there. Okay, let's turn around and get started. Uh, yes, this would be the right place because... This is definitely a bog. Now we have most of this explored, so I don't have to do the whole exploration thing. Uh, we don't have to face every direction. I wouldn't mind if there were enough enemies to gain a level, but I doubt there will be. Uh, we're forward, over, forward, here. Hey, wait a minute. I think you might be able to take out these branches. We can take out these branches. Ooh. Does anyone remember? I certainly don't. Um, what the poison bolt spell is. All right, this is I. Uh, this is a terrible start. It. Oh, we need fire to take those. Okay, I need my hammer back from that frog. This is a terrible start. We're doing okay. All right. That frog. I think it's still coming for me. All right, we're not we're not doomed or anything. All right, there's. This is actually not the best circumstance, but I, I think we're surviving well. I don't remember how to make a poison bolt, which is really, really odd. Woo -wee! We made it. Okay, we got our shield back. We got a tongue that someone can eat. Uh, where's my weapon? Was that a different frog? Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, okay. So, uh, we're just... Nope, that crystal's asleep. That's fine. We'll regenerate. We will regenerate. Uh, let's go ahead and check our spells. Number three. Uh, poison bolt is... Ah, there we go. Now, now we remember. We don't remember. We, we looked it up. Not in a bad way of, like, cheating to look it up. We looked it up in our archives. Things are good to go. Um, I wonder, could we possibly make a level at this rate before we get to that second boss that we know exists? Also, was I exploring a new area while running from the frog? 
Yes, I was. Oh, no, that's just in the middle of the teleporters. Don't care. Don't really care. So, let's... That is the nice thing, is uh, all this travel right now that I'm doing is going to get me nice and prepared for the cave that we're going into. Our health is regenerating. Things are good. Uh, I'd like the mana to be up a little bit more for Salamander here, but that's all right. She actually has quite a lot of energy, 73. We just won't use her whenever, oh. Right, that's useless here. Ice spikes only for you. All right, so we have to treat this like a brand new area all over again. Just to see what's here. Okay, so there's that way. Uh, this one takes a key, and the key is at the back of this area here. I can't remember. Are we able to pump this up? No, we're not. But we wanted the raw damage. That is not pleasant. I dislike poison. Unless I'm the one using it. I love when I'm using poison. I have to say, I'm actually not impressed with it. Oh my gosh. Wow, that has a lot of hit points. Die, damn it. 75. 75 experience points for that and now look. And this one's on fire. Okay. Oh, maybe we were doing the two at the same time. Uh, that, that actually sounds like it makes sense. That makes a lot of sense as to why, uh, things went down that way. Does this do anything else? I think we might actually use this... Shock damage. Oh, no. It is really hard to keep my cool right now when all of my guys are really having bad reactions to what's going on. Oh, right, I left the door open. I guess that would do it. I don't think I'm ready for more. That was a lot of damage. All right, prep another spell. My fighter, I do have all those points in armor, good evasion, good protection, um, poison resist. Oh, yeah, poison resist. Was, was it that? Fair enough. Okay, we had a fizzle spell. We're good. I think that we mostly cleared this area out by accident. Um, I really don't mind killing time when just exploring things because right now everybody's basically regenerating health and mana. It just, it just makes sense to fiddle with things while you're waiting for things to happen. Oh, wait, happen to mean regenerate. The pickaxe. Were you useless completely? It's a light weapon with minus to accuracy. Uh, unless it's actually used for something, that sounds pretty useless. Right, this is a mimic. I remember that's a mimic. <laughs> 
just because it's a mimic does not mean that it's uh, not worth killing. For that to regenerate again. I'm trying to save my mana. I don't really care about my fighter's mana, that'll that'll do its own thing. Hello, Krakens! We had some uh, a bad run-in with a frog and some bees. And that started off our bad health that we have right now. And then uh, following that bad run-in, we had a bad run-in with some poison. So now we're just kind of a... Uh, we're killing time. Like, I don't care if this takes a long time to kill the Mimic because we're all trying to regenerate anyways. I really should be attacking my fighter, not my knight, as a priority. Yes. Thirty-eight damage. Four hundred. Okay. What do you have? A battle axe. Ten to twenty. Five point two second cooldown. Uh, let's take a look. Sixteen to forty-six. Ignores armor. What do you do? That's so special. Sixteen to forty-six. Okay. Slight increase in damage. Cooldown is four and a half seconds. Cooldown is five point two. I think the damage per second is higher on the warhammer than the battle axe. Chopping fire wouldn't split in the heads of your enemy steals double damage. No. Okay, we're not going to use that. However, maybe we're going to use it for you. Uh, you can use the warp meat. What do you have? 7 to 22 plus strength. Yes. We're going to do that instead of Skull Cleave. They both have chop as their special, and they, neither of them can actually use it. Uh, we're good. What is this glowy thing? Oh, it's the mind key. Okay. So I'm feeling a little bit better. Our mana has regenerated back to where it should be. Uh, the only thing that's really missing here is Beef's hit points are down. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay with Beef not being full hit points right now. Because uh, we're going to try to do this without getting hit too much by utilizing the fireball spell. Is this the boss room? Might be the boss room right there. But I thought the boss room might have been past that key door. Because I really don't feel like losing our progress. Didn't think it was here, but good. Oh, look, a save crystal's down here. So maybe that was a timepiece. It is one hour after midnight. Oh, okay. So it's basically useless. Uh, let's... Here you go. The reason I'm not using that save crystal right now, which, I, by the way, I'm very thankful to have found a save crystal. What's this say? Rune Master's Trial.
All right, let's do it. Let's go fight that boss. Now that, you know, we have a save crystal here, we're good. I'm actually willing to go and do this uh, with a lot more confidence than I had before. Hey, I just realized, Crackers, that um, I only looked at the corner of my eye and you called me Butt Buffoon Batman. Oh, that's not good. I wish I could see farther. Sorry I'm so silent. I'm just I'm just trying to be careful of what's what's going to happen here. in poison and we cannot move. Wow, this is... Kill it and run! But this time we're saved a few seconds away. All right, so the boss is actually a game of run and dodge and find a nice safe place to get yourself in a corner where you're not going to be completely surrounded. I, I, I'm i not disheartened by this. The boss seems doable. Uh, poison is not my friend. I don't recall. What was the requirement in order to cast that protection spell? Because look, for fire, what's protection from fire? Go like this. Uh, there was definitely a protection spell. So that, all right. Invisibility. Ah, we don't have enough concentration to cast poison shield. That's the problem. If we had poison shield, this place would be a little bit easier. But, uh, sorry. Oh. Let's see what's going on on this side. We'll eventually try pressing down all those switches at the same time. Uh, I did not mean to go up these steps. Oh, it's actually not too far. Go over here, over here, up here. I'm trying to look in the bottom right corner, set my spells, also move around, dodge the poison, 
and watch out for enemies all at the same time. That, that's not good. Okay, are we in a corner? No, I actually kind of want to back myself into a corner. Like this one, all right. Uh, not ideal because we have uh, one of our guys dead. But here we are. That's it. You started playing Skyrim again? Awesome, crack. Cause I've been uh, I've been playing it. Uh, I, I try to limit myself, but about two hours a day, I'd say. Yeah. Okay, look, the crystal's up again. I'm surprised Brody's not here. That's my fault. I probably didn't put enough of a heads up. Okay, now we can easily clear out that room with the boss gone. Oh, this poison is kicking my ass. Actually, uh, no, it's uh, not mostly on the toilet. However, I do have to state at the same time that 0% uh, of my toilet time is wasted. I thought you should at least know about that. Uh, sitting on the toilet is definitely uh, a good time to play uh, a variety of video games. Hey, that poison actually wore off fairly quickly. I'm happy with that. All right. I think there might be enough dudes in here to gain a level with at least, uh, at least Salamander. Holy crap. These poison clouds are brutal. Yeah, but but not every day. Not everyone poops every day. You know what? It's actually possible that I may um I may invest in athletics level three with both of my frontliners. I'm not a big fan of maximum health, but there's gotta be something that increases your health regeneration instead of just health. I'm not a big fan of max hit points. I feel like anything that you can accomplish with maximum hit points, you can accomplish more with either regeneration or armor. Oh yeah, I guess you can level that up and get more range. Well, something along those lines. Out of energy. Stunned. What exactly does stunned mean? Because I've always been shocked by the fact that they've uh, they've still been attacking me while stunned. Did I just find some food there? It's dark. Now, by the way, it's it is as dark on my end as it is on your end. There's uh there's there's no filter here causing it to be dark. There we go, it does go through enemies. That's actually gonna be worthwhile to invest in uh, in more water magic. Who knows, maybe water is healing. I mean, I always thought of earth as being healing, but water is also a potential.
By the way, in case anyone's wondering why I didn't just cast the fire spell there, uh, I, I'm pretty sure I don't have enough mana. There we go. Okay, fireball. This is a, this is exciting. Look, I'm I'm just clearing out a room, gaining experience points. Once I'm done, I'll explore the edges. In fact, uh, once I clear out one more of these guys, I can see at least two more. But once I clear out one more of these guys, I'm going to be wandering the room and searching while fighting. Our spell fizzled. We didn't have as much mana as we needed. Okay. Uh, now we are going to go ahead and start searching. Just gonna prime our spells. And we're in search mode, everyone. Pellets. Don't care about you. If I think that something could be there, you will notice that I will click and not always pick something up. Nothing. A skull. Ooh, there's my skull collector. Remember, I know that this is not a minotaur. The skulls do nothing. If I ever have to actually get rid of them, I will. I am collecting them merely to see what I would have missed. Buffoon Batman is poison. And he's my knight. Actually, I just realized that my knight is really tough now. I may not have to involve myself in as much dodge as I thought. And uh, burger fry. Have a bread. Okay, I don't think that dropped anything. Uh, there was something over by the glowy orb. Let's see. Because the next place that we're going to go are the ruins of Desero, uh, but we're also going to put in another orb into that one area. Yeah, this guy's gonna go down really easy. I think I have enough mana for this. I do. I do not want to risk losing beef. Because beef is too delicate for the front line. But doesn't do enough. Hello, Raven Blue Feather. Doesn't do enough for the rear line. Alright, there we go. Okay. Hey, there's something dragging along the ground there. It's a herder cap. Who's hungry? You look like you could be hungry, but you're not hungry right now. Oh, look, pellets. I don't have anyone specializing in ranged attacks. So, oh, well, that could potentially open up. By the way, if this is making anyone confused as to which way I'm going, uh, I can see how the fog would make that confusing for you. The only reason I know is because I'm the one pressing the button to change the direction that I'm facing. Just keep in mind that during this small area that I'm almost done with, I'm mostly just facing things. You know, and they close the McDonald's near Really? McDonald's closes for renovations? Normally when a McDonald's closes for renovations, they do that thing where they, uh, they open up a, an area, like an outdoor McDonald's, and they serve you temporarily. Which sack was it? This one. A recipe. Transmute this potion requires alchemy level four. Who's taking all my alchemy? Is it you? It is you. Wait, let's open up this. I think I'm gonna have to change my uh, alchemy thing into a to a box instead and keep alchemy ingredients in there. All right, so what's this say? Legend of Kilhagen. With his ship lost and his crew perished, Kilhagen had ceased to be a pilot. Alone, 
hopeless and utterly lost, he almost ended his life at this spot. But then came the rage, and with it a new purpose for his existence. Revenge. Alright everyone, it's time to dig up a grave again. We're gonna set up our spell. If the whole thing is fenced in, they could... Okay. In that case, McDonald's loses a lot of money day to day, Raven. Um, I would say that they're probably going to have it up and running very quickly. Can't dig here. Like, in a dungeon you can't dig? Okay, it's the dungeons. You can't dig in dungeons. So if you're buried here... Let's see what's up there. It could be a dead end. It probably is a dead end, but maybe it just keeps going deeper and deeper and deeper. It was a dead end. Ooh, a sack! Another sack! Fire bombs, crystal shard of healing. Heal all wounds and raise attention. That is amazing. Hub key. Yeah. My fighter takes keys and key items. This shard of healing. Who's likely to live long enough? You. You will keep the shard of healing. By the way, this cudgel's useless. Gone. Skull cleave. Gone. Look, I just, I don't. Wait a minute. Take, ah, look at this! Another herb. A mushroom. I'll take the skull cleave for now because we have that one room with the nine switches. Oh, I don't think so. McDonald's food isn't actually toxic. That's just a joke that people like to make. It is, it's a joke. It's a joke that's gone so far that it's no longer a joke and people think it's serious. Okay, the... Rune Master's Trial. Not me to throw this tunnel. Place it there. Place it there. And if this doesn't work, we're going to walk away, name this the Rune Master's Trial on our map, and uh, come back when we can do something about it. Because I was just. Li That's the final one. Oh, you surely you jest. Wood pulp. Cellulose. Doesn't matter what it is. If it tastes good, you eat it. People just like to have someone to blame. Seriously, it, it's a serious problem. Everyone needs a scapegoat. Every problem that ever happens, people look for someone to blame. So what do they do? They seek out politicians, the CEO in charge, uh, the McDonald's restaurant that, that, you know, everybody needs somebody to blame. Nobody can just accept the fact that they make their own decisions in life and sometimes they make the wrong decision. It, it's, it's amazing. Uh, you know what, the best example is, I mean, this is recent now, but eventually people will watch this and be like, that wasn't recent. There was that, um, the false alarm in Hawaii, okay? There was the false alarm saying, like, this is not a false alarm. Holy crap, it's a threat. There's a missile incoming. Everyone takes shelter. You know what? That was a horrible thing. A lot of people lost things, whatever, abandoned things. Stuff happened. But the real problem here is that everybody just had to find somebody to blame. You couldn't just accept the fact that somebody made a mistake. It was not intentional. And it wasn't fixed in a timely fashion. I never... I don't even know what a donate link is. <laughs> essence of Earth. Oh, right. We have another essence now. You 
You know, I mean, I've been, I've been broadcasting here on Twitch for a little while, but I really, I really don't know much about how to gain anything from it. I think I just enjoy playing a story and having an excuse to talk to myself. You know how that is, talking to yourself, playing a story. I'm gonna head over to this hub right now and use my hub key. All right, we're going slow. Someone is overburdened. You. You're overburdened. My alchemist is overburdened. Uh, yes, we can have some more food. Um, one of these days, and I'm serious, I am going to uh, offline sort out my inventory. Oh shit, that was the deep stuff. Please don't die. I've been quite successful. Where am I? I mean, it wasn't a major scare, but it was a scare. There's a switch underwater over here. I can hear something moving when I hit that switch. I'm going to go back underwater with something I'm prepared to lose. Get rid of them. Alright, so what do I have that I don't care about? Um, items, items, items I don't care about. I don't want to get rid of food or that. Aha! How about this backbiter? This. That would be great. Look, leech? That either steals mana. Wow! If that steals mana, awesome. If that steals hit points, still awesome. That would have been great in the hands of my fighter. But then again, the, the damage is shit. It'd be good for the early parts. And eventually, no matter how much it leeches, it's just not worth it anymore. Alright, so what did I open up? I wonder if that did open. Okay. That's the deep stuff. What do you mean, secret? Oh, it opened this! Haha! <laughs> I was wondering how to open that. A torch. Alright, so I guess it, secrets that don't use arrows are useless. Oh, lightning bomb. You like bombs? See, now you're overburdened. You're not going to carry food anymore. Who can carry it? And crossbow quarrels. Let's get rid of those. You can hold quite a bit of food, so you are gonna be like, I don't wanna carry that much toad tongue. There. That's a portal. Where does this portal lead again? All right, enemies do respawn. These enemies not only give me experience, but they give me food. I'm a little concerned right now because I can't cast a spell. There we go. I mean, I'm not too concerned about one-on-one -on -one with this toad. I'm just trying to keep up with casting spells and stuff. Okay, 240 experience. All right, so we get another tongue. Uh, we get our orb back. We get our hammer back. I wonder, can you lose your Twitch partner status because I... Oh wait, is partner something beyond? Are there three levels? Because I mean, I was, uh, I was just normal Twitch. And then I was promoted to Twitch something else. And I think it might have been partner, but I don't know for sure. And I'm just wondering, 
did, did I go long enough without twitching that uh, I lost that status? Seems like something potential to me. There, there's something here, isn't there? It just, it seems odd that the map would fill in like that. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. Alright, so I do still want to get over to this hub. Uh, this hub, how do I even... Is that where I just was when I was fighting that frog? No, okay, that's something totally different. Alright, so we're going to get over to this hub. It's not going to be too difficult. We just have to do a little bit of water travel and not go into the deep end. So we go over here to here. There we go. Okay, we're over at the hub. We have a hub key. It's going to be fun to use. The hub. go that's the importance of notes on your map everyone so now we know that this is going to be keel reach bog take us over to shipwreck beach i think there's also a main entrance here that's it's closer to where we actually want to be so we'll take this and where are we now uh the next place that we're going to go is going to be the runes of desarune we also have to drop off an item here we have fire let's go ahead and uh who had earth wait 0, 0.0 and let's fill in our map mr puppy where are you referring are we where yet so i thought we were doing just a okay uh, B okay. We'll say B okay because we're not A okay, are we? But we're not doing too bad. We've made some progress, and our next stop is going to be the. How do we get back up there? Over here, across the bridge. It's actually not very far, and you do travel at a decent pace in this game. It's just, uh, you know, I stop to check my map so freaking often. Still not sure. How did I get to the ruins of Desarune? Yeah. Does anyone remember how I got there? Maybe it's just that. We'll have to give it a try. Oh, what's that note? Guardian puzzle. Okay. Yeah, a little bit further than I intended to go, but I was actually just looking for any more seaweed or other weed underwater. Um, I am the guardian of the bridge. Wake me up. How does one wake you up? Oh, I think I already woke you up. It's nice to know I can see pressure plates underwater. I know I triggered that one already. Okay. And everyone, now we're in the ruins of Desarune. Uh, the last time I was here, we did have a little bit of an issue. I believe I was just getting lost while well, rummaging around. And I shouldn't have gotten lost because everything seemed like it was 
fine, but it wasn't. No, it's not closed, it's locked. There, this bridge is already formed, but I think this is downstairs. I think my problem is I was trying to read the map and you can't tell what's up and what's down. So we ran into that issue. That was where the ice elemental was released. Over here. Then we've been up there, apparently. We've been up there. I wonder if just randomly wandering is the best way. Lower level. It's just a chain to close the door behind me, which we're not going to use. No reason why I would have closed this door. Why did I close this door? So buttons on the walls. I feel like we were supposed to do the runes of Desarune before we went to Kyo Reach Bog. So this leaves me at an advantage in this situation. Because I'm stronger than I should be. Maybe. Hopefully. Who knows? Now we're getting back over to here again. Or not. We've been here on both levels, haven't we? We've been here on the upper floor and the lower floor, so being there. Oh, I wish I could take my map and rotate it this way so I can see what's higher and what's lower. Wait, have I been there? Why else would the map be filled in right there? Maybe at the under level? By the way, I mean, I'm not looking for spoilers or anything, but if you guys spot something that I'm not spotting, you have to let me know. You're allowed to do that. Maybe it's because I can see it. Meditation Spire. Oh! Rest. Now we're probably getting hungry. Yes, you're getting hungry. Uh, some turtle steak. Does everything actually start to go bad? I should probably eat things as they're going bad. Like this horned fruit, cheese. I should probably eat the horned fruit and the cheese pretty soon. Like next. All right, let's not look at the map. Let's just wander through here and accidentally find the right way. Uh, this tends to work. There's only one way to go so far. Over here, we're in this room. Is there any reason not to cover up all these buttons? Because I don't need those two. Oh, there's a keyhole up there. And I have to approach from there. So I need to get to what's right in front of me. Uh, goal is there. Get here. It has to be on the upper level. So go there, come from where? Where do I have to come from? We're just putting down our fist dagger there for a second so I can see better. Ah, jumping would be ideal, would it not?
Dr. Clever, this is the best way for them to move. It's called a formation. Through formation moving, uh, we get to choose who takes attacks and who doesn't. Otherwise, you'd have people like Robin in the front taking all your hits. And Robin can't take a hit. There's very, very many tears when Robin takes a hit. By the way, none of these characters are named Robin. But, uh, for example, let's see. You have 85 health. You have 95 health. What do you guys have? 140 and 115. Also, look at the protection levels. 2814, 2119, and the guys in the back. Terrible. They die. So, I want to go through one of these walls. Be over here. So, we're going to walk sideways. Ah! I gotta say, I'm not impressed with myself when I get stuck like this. Oh, when I get stuck like this, I start I start making stupid assertions. I don't think I've ever approached this room this way. So that must mean I'm leaving. Okay, we're just gonna do the whole Hi, look at me. I'm leaving this dungeon now. And then, uh... See if I end up accidentally going the right way. I'm also checking the walls for any secret switches. There's that ladder. I'm gonna take the ladder out of here. Yep. Even the runes of Desarune. I'm gonna leave. Crap, we did that last time. We've already done this. Last time we were in this room, it did exactly the same thing that we're doing now. Now I have to start over back from down here, which is actually not that far. And I was surprised for a moment when I found that button. I was like, yay! I wonder if it's something along those lines somewhere else. Okay. So we didn't find anything there. This is locked. There's a lever right there. Um, other water spots. Where have we not been in the water? That's significant. This is sort of significant. But also, it doesn't look very conclusive. Secret area, but I didn't find the loot. Bring a key and go through the portal. I do have a key now. I like how I leave myself hints on the map. The key. Secret and locked. One to work one. Are we actually stuck? Well, the cemetery did have that uh, trial and error. That's not exploded. Silent one has a friend who's willing to speak, head towards the sunrise, be able to get the final. underwater not willing to come out either yeah 
I thought maybe poison on cobras made sense. All right, what did it say last time we got here? What do I have here? Serpent Bracer. Well, if that worked, you guys would have thought I cheated for sure. But uh, it was worth a try. Um, I do try lots of things. Apparently not the right things all the time. Please don't get boring. Don't get boring for people. People want to experience this. Okay, save here. That'll be good. Okay, I don't believe this is a cemetery. It is the cemetery. Now this, this is trial and error that I'm not looking forward to. But I want to do it. West. Uh, north. South, East, nope, but it was worth a try. How many combinations are there? How many possible combinations are there, assuming that you only have to hit each spot once? Order King. Orders came and the gates closed. The answers were sealed in the archives. Alright, those are the graves. Locked or closed gate. Alright, let's find out if it's locked or closed gate. In. Oh, shoot. That would have been a waste anyway. That's a gold key to take that down. All right. And there's a switch there. Which tells me I was probably supposed to get there from the rear. Let's dig right in front of here. Dig right in front of you. How come I never noticed the moon rotation before? Is it because... Oh! It must be the timepiece. Now I actually know what time it is. Look, it's two hours before midnight. Makes a temporary portal. And that, that's not even a goal. That's just a place where I'd either get water or air. Judging so by the fact that it's an island, it's probably water. I'm currently going to be diving into the water at random here. As long as I have a safe place to surface. Oh, looking for things. Like that. What is right across from that? There's, nothing. There's no ladder going there. Let's take that ladder.
As you can see, Dr. Clever, they also uh, swim as a unit. I, I can't explain that one. There's no explaining how they swim that way. Why they swim that way. We, we can explain how. It's called synchronized swimming. Did I already put something here? I did. We're not going back here again because that's actually going backwards. And you're saying to wake you up. Bridge, wake me up. I think I must have, or maybe it was just that switch that did it. There's also that underwater area. Where is it? The deeper underwater area. Which I haven't seen in there. And there is a nearby ladder. And there's an area there. That might be worth checking out. I think I'm at a point right now where if somebody were to drop a hint, I would accept it as a, as an original thought. Right? Uh, does anyone here have an original thought that they would like to have an aha moment with? Right. We can actually do that, can't we? Go back over here. So this one. Clear. Earth. So we got fire and we got earth. I really didn't want to head back over here again. There's a treasure chest right there, and I want it. Let's see if we can figure that out. did figure out how to get to the other side there. That was fine. Hop like a frog. I love how all of your suggestions involve jumping. But am I missing a key? Is Can you actually jump in this game? I mean, I don't think you can. And it seems, it seems like one of those things where I would say, you fool, I can't jump. And then it turns out that I can actually jump. So I'm going to avoid that. I'm not going to say that you're a fool. I always get worried when I'm underwater, so I, I go silent, so I'm like, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. As long as I can find that ladder, I'm good to go. So we went under here before we found that. That was a nice aha moment. Then we found this area here. That was nice. But look, we are going to go there. Yeah, we're going to head over there. Nice and quick. Nice and quick. We're only going to lose one dude here. The others have lots of mana. Holy hell. Oh, God. All right, we just saved, so I'm not too concerned. But I mean... Oh, wait, wait. wait back, back, over, up. Nobody died. 
We got that explored. Uh, that needs to be explored again. Because I was drowning too much to really explore. Oh my gosh, are we already out of air? I don't even care. I don't even care because we got a fish. And, uh... Let's put that there. And it doesn't matter because there's a save crystal right there. We actually filled out some more of a map. That's going to be the next place that we head. Right, we already tried that. We couldn't go under the bridge like I thought we could. So we'll go over the bridge. How did we end up over there the first time? I mean... Oh. This way. Look, everyone. There's a path that doesn't involve uh, dying. Instantly. There are four sides to everything. I don't even think I saw that before. We had to solve a puzzle that we already solved, but we're good. Um, I wonder if there's going to be those rats. Did those rats respawn, or can we head over to this crystal? Hey, you fell down. Don't talk anymore. We're fine. We are fine. See that? So this is a dangerous plunge, and I don't like to think, oh, look, I saved, everything's just fine, but that's realistically what it is. It just saved, so it's going to be fine. I gotta get through there and make a right. over here again. I'm actually glad those insects keep coming back. It's, uh, it's gonna be nice. We've already got some meat. Sausage. Oh yeah, I wonder you use anything that has like low health thingy left. I did not expect to see you there. Now you're on fire. Okay, so, uh, Yeah, didn't expect to, uh, to find a frog there. I was just wandering, and uh, it never really reoccurs to me that there's going to be respawns that I don't want. Technically, they're all good. I just didn't expect to respawn so soon. I mean, we're just in a swamp, but I guess swamps are always full of life.
they're weak to fire. Who would have thought that a, uh, that a, uh, a swarm would be weak to fire? Hey, look. Don't let the rocks fall short of their target. Right, we already saw that. That one time before we went game over, we saw that. And, uh... I really want to fill in that part of the map. Yeah, I think we got it. I feel good. So this is uh, not going to be the longest. This is a medium play session. Uh, we're only going to be here for about 14 more minutes. I would really like not to end on a dead end note. Ending on a dead end does not make me feel good. That is the area that where I need the Buddhas. Uh, it's here. Oops. Bring elements here. Okay. Uh, the pyramid is locked and we're not sure how to open it, but there's some serpents there. Uh, the cemetery has a puzzle. Block on five squares. Uh, get here. That makes sense. Okay. So I basically labeled all the stuff that I need to do. I just don't know how to do those things. Now, remind myself where I am. I already tried that. We've gone through the bog. We've done the bog. We're over here. That's what the second boss was. Uh, continue exploring a little bit. I mean, now it feels like there's save crystals everywhere because I've got the whole place cleared up. You know what? I would, I would really, really enjoy some actual armor. I, now that I have high armor, heavy armor proficiency and light armor proficiency with these guys, I wonder if it's worth it. What was my note here? Bring a key and go through the portal. Okay. Kind of a key. Secret and locked, but then this area. Duncan's Bane, I'm glad you're here. Um, so right now. As I was just saying, I would really like if somebody had some input on where to go next. You know, a, an original thought. Of course, I would never ask anyone to look anything up. Right, that's what I had to do. Okay. That's the one I really wanted to do. I dug this whole place up too. How do I open you? Because I I had to rush out of here last time. I had something to do uh, in real life, like outside of this game. And I was here and I was like, oh no, what do I do? And then I ran out of time. I left without actually getting my treasure chest. Because would it make the gameplay easier if I never turn? I think it's the turning that gets you. Okay. So I'm over here. No. I was really hoping it was just as simple as pressing the button. Alright, we have 
We have a brazier here. We have a torch. around I'm looking for a hidden button a switch a secret item a notch in a tree a rock that moves wait a minute oh my we've actually called upon some summon stones Four of them. Oh, that'd actually be bad to corner ourselves. I could not take these guys all one on one. We cannot use. Oh my god, my mage's arm is broken! Okay. My fighter's dead. This is this is gonna be interesting. This is what we're gonna do, everyone. We're gonna do this only next time our mage is not going to break it off. Yeah. Yeah, that's dead. That is dead. This is great. Okay, so we have four earth elementals to kill. Earth elementals obviously being a, a weakness of well any party, really. Immune to poison. Um, I guess ice spikes counts as either earth or water damage. They're probably weak to water, but ice spikes deal zero damage. My fire does the best damage I can do. I have a hammer, which should be doing a lot more damage, but it's not. Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, this is exciting. I have, I have a task. I have a task now. That is my seven minute task. I'm logging off at 730, but now I know what I'm going to do. I'm gonna go and kill those earth elementals and get myself some really, hopefully, amazing loot. So, we, uh, here. Look, we were, we were right there, too. Alright, is there anything that we can do to help ourselves along with these, uh, these things? First of all, uh, we're going to go here. We're going to say we want the fireball spell is going to be ideal. Um, hmm. Shock. Lightning rod. Air attack is pro... I'm not even going to try it. It's just a waste of time. Uh, I, I'm quite quite excited. We've we've discovered something that's a challenge here. Hello, Rody Pie. Oh my gosh, really? Six minutes before I log off, you're here. As we're about to go and uh, we discovered what to do here just moments ago and then we died. But I'm excited to try again. Uh, one of the first things they did is break Salamander's arm so she couldn't cast spells. Shock resist minus 20. I gotta keep that in mind. So can raise it. Oh, we have fire bombs. Okay. We actually have a practical use for fire bombs at this point. So that's what we're going to do. This session, uh, I think it was one. I 
think you missed the one. It just happened. Oh my gosh, 329 damage? No, what a waste of a fireball. I didn't realize that they hit like that. That's, uh, that's, that's doom right there. It is, like, 34 damage, and they're regularly hitting my knight. I don't think I'm expected to kill them. But we have three minutes left to try again. I'm not expecting to beat them, but since I do have three minutes left, that's that's what I'm doing. We're gonna go there. We're going to prepare ourselves. And um, I wonder if we can just tank them. Uh, I mean really, just just tank them. So we go here, we take the horn, do the thing, um, and to tank them we'd just be sitting right here. Our fighter would surely die. Uh, is there anything else that my fighter can do? What do you have? Let's do crit. Let's do protection. Oh, I know what I can do. This staff right here goes like this. We use it to... Never mind. What I meant to do is say, uh... This staff... Oh, man. Gross. I didn't realize that you had number two equipment. I guess that gives me a place to put things. Uh, number four. Yes, you've got that. Okay. So my plan is this. If I'm going to tank them, my fighter is going to need to put this in his hand. So cast this protection spell. Wow. I did not spot that dog. I did not spot the dog at all. I'm glad you guys spotted the dog. Um, you are going to get ready like this. Evasion is good. We're going to keep the evasion. You are going to cast your ice spikes are useless. Your poison cloud is useless. Wow, you're useless. You are useless in this fight. Do I have any spells? No, you're not going to be useless. You're going to be the one with the firebombs. I'm willing to do everything. I'm willing to use basically everything except for this crystal in this fight. Okay. Set one on fire. Alrighty.
three is a lot easier to dodge than one, I think we're gonna be okay. And on fire. This is great! Alright, I'm even a minute over my time, but it's worth it. Because we just beat these guys. Two out of four down. This is some easy down. Holy shit! You almost killed my knight. Alright, let's not get too cocky here. Yes! Another one on fire! Out of energy, I'm I'm willing to uh, do this the right way. Salamander, uh, burger fry gained a level, gained plus one dexterity. We did it. Um, we're not even gonna. Are we gonna use this level? No, we're not. A book. Tome of Knowledge. We had a Tome of Leadership. Gain one skill point. Um, I think I'm going to start beefing up beef. Of which, these things are deteriorating. Oh, I got to use the horn fruit too. Need that. Gain a, oh, a skill point. Okay, my mages, I think, are set when it comes to skill points, right? Oh, right. But I didn't see any other messages. I, I looked. I didn't see it. Maybe it's under review or something. I'll have to take a look at it. We're not going to use that tome right now. That was exciting. That was a very exciting battle. Um, due to... Had a couple of lucky shots, a crit here, not dying. Um, where's the nearest save crystal that actually works? That one. Oh, someone's overloaded. Oh no, someone's got broken legs. Oh my gosh, I got a hand injury and a foot injury on my knight. And the crystal just reactivated. Alright everyone, I will see you next time. Uh, sign it off for Legend of Grimrock 2. Next session, I really don't know where we're going. Um, I don't want to look up any sort of a walkthrough. So I'm going to leave it up to you guys to try to figure out where to go next. And if somebody gives me a nice little hint, that would be good. So let's save our game and replenish our mice. And there we have it. Good night, all!